thing called tuna sashimi. Hello all. Turn the cap down now a second because I got that plane. 
Definitely don't need the two. One iPad, turn on, you're on just now. Wind up, I think. Let's get the uh, chat going a minute. YouTube app is crashing every now, every now and then. I wonder when it before this update we had lately. <laughs> Go on YouTube app, open up. Thinking about it. Yeah, this new YouTube app update they've done on the iPad is uh, sucks. Doing some weird things. Unable to install update. Update at least. Available free storage. Okay, remind me later. I run out of storage. Kind of run out of storage. Yep, so I'm stuck doing nothing. Come on. God damn you. Hang on, one second. Let me have a quick look. Maybe I've run out of storage. Everything is taking a long time. Do anything. Uh, about. Right, so look, how much storage we got? Capacity 60 gig. I got 500 on meg free. Probably got a load of shit we can get rid of actually. I could do for clean up on this iPad to be honest. Don't like this new YouTube app. It was much better as it was like probably about a year ago, maybe a bit longer. All right, we're almost there. I'm with it. Hello, run freak. Hello, how are you, John Zini? How's it going, guys? Been spending out with you, Johns. Go in there. Uh, go in there. Uh, Full balls deep on Evercade. That's the way. Right. I managed to get a review code of um, the IRM games. So, I've only had a quick smidgen at it. So we'll give it a good go. Yeah, nice to see you back as well, buddy. It's always good when you pop in. Apparently, from what I'm reading, they're planning on five uh, collections. Uh, I think one of them has got the Gun Force games on it. And then you've got this one. Also, this title screen is loud as hell. Let me turn that down. One of them's got um, Dragon Breed and things like that on it. But I think it's 20 quid, this collection. I don't know why the intro was so loud, right? Yeah, IRM's great. So, what, what you get on here basically is free games. So, you get uh, Image Fight uh, 1 and 2, and then you get X Multiply. So, what's nice is they've included every version of it. So, you've got the World, the JP1, and well, there's only two versions on that one. On here, you get the um, Arcade Image Fight. You get the PC Engine one, uh, you get the NES one, which is pretty good actually. Uh, you get the Famicom one, and then on this one you just get the PC Engine one, because that's all it is essentially. So, we'll start with Image Fight, and let's start with the... Let's go with the Famicom version. There seems to be a lot of options on this as well. 
Yes, that's it, yeah. Five game collection, apparently. So, well, they do have a lot of options, because you've got save states, which is rather nice. So, I, I haven't looked how many save states you get yet. Um, there's challenges as well. So far you can get in one credit, that's pretty much a normal challenge. To get on the leaderboards. Um, oh, and they've added stick aim as well, because you know the little pods on there? You can actually aim them using dual sticks, which is interesting. And then in options, you've got various control options. Or the fire, I don't know if you can change any of these. Yeah, you can. So you can basically set up, and at least they've added auto fire, which is quite nice. And you can pause and rewind, which is also a nice feature. And there's an auto pod option. I think that's where you shoot the pods off. And then in here, we've got various image image quarters. You basically you've got your pixel perfect. Uh, you've got your 4.3. You've got your full screen weirdo version. Um, and then you've got, well, that's like a stretch per, it's pixel perfect, if that makes any sense. Then you've got Pixel Perfect, which gives you as it should look. Um, and you've got, <laughs> well, quite like, you've got the original resolution. So, I haven't tried that yet. So we're going to go to that. It does have, um, if you if you go back to your, your standard, it, it does you do get a little bit of shimming if you take these uh, filters off. So in crispy, you get um, by the look of it. I think you get by uh, not by linear filter, and you get um, oh, I can't think of that. Not anti aliasing either. What am I thinking of? Not anti aliasing. Um, oh, oh, it's gone. It'll come back to me. So basically, the one that stops uh, shimmering. I can't think of it offhand. Um, interpolated or interpolation, whichever way you want to name it. So it's nice and smooth, and then you've got a soft filter, which is bilinear, bilinear filter, which basically looks like ass. And what's interesting, you've also got color modes. So you've got RGB, black and white. Uh, you can do alternative RGB, same there as well. So that's quite good for you know people who color blind to certain things or whatever. So you can change the actual um, game colors. Gameplay, you've got stick aim, music, so you can turn all that stuff off, vibration. Got the winder default. You've also got cheats like all arcade boards, like all Iron arcade boards. All right, maybe have a good, how's it going? Did not you jumped in then? I'll be fine, Skewin. Yeah, X Multiplay is a really cool game. Not many people talk about that these days, do they? Um, like all Iron arcade boards, there is an there is an invincibility uh, switch. Not on the cartridge ones, but on the arcade boards, you get that anyway. So documentation, I was hoping it'd be like manuals and things like that, but it's not. It's it's basically just people who made the game. So that's the options you get. So I don't know. It's got arcade mode on the. All right, okay. So basically, a standard mode gives you the following: so you get the control enhancements, save states, rewinds, fast forwards, cheats, dip switch settings, or you get your arcade mode, which is your basically your just your standard. So we'll go with that. Oh, and I got to touch the touchpad. Let's play touchpad. Yeah, I like X Multiply as well. It's quite an interesting game, isn't it? A bit different to what um, IREM did. This uh, Famicom version is actually pretty good. I used to have it on the Famicom. Control system, okay. You can remember about um, this game as well. The first loop is literally just a simulation. It's not the real game. So if I pause it, you can see you can see what these these options do. Um, is it touchpad to get the options up? Ah, yeah. So uh, basically, if I go into options, go to video, and if I go to let's try the let's try stamp. Oh, we should have called it that, shouldn't we? And then we'll do um, bilinear filters or soft filtering. Yep, that's pretty small. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want that version, but... <laughs> At least that's the original size. Uh, so we're going to go... 
Let's do a uh, pixel perfect. Let's try that out. As I die straight away. And then we'll do a good video again. So our pixel perfect. Uh, it's not softening up on you. That's weird. It did it when I tried it on the PC. So if you take it off, you get um, a little bit of shimmering. Weird. Okay. Ah, it's the shader type. Sorry. Yeah. So you're gonna. I forgot you got shader types. So crispy mode, and then you can have a CRT filter. We'll we'll run through them. So you got a CRT filter, which I don't particularly like at all. So you do get scan lines, and it's a bit blurry. And then um, you also get you get the uh, eventual um, CRT mode. Just a little bit. It's more like um, they've got um, a shadow mask filter over the top there, so you can see that it's probably hard to see it over YouTube, but uh, you can see it on the black. So basically, it's the one with a shadow mask filter. So you got you can see the pixels essentially, which still looks like a bit like ass to be honest. But you know, you might like that type of thing. And you've got arcade glow. Which is basically like uh, your normal one, but the like the contrast is over contrast around whites and stuff. As I was trying to get a more of a CRT look. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit. It just reminds me of over overblown, overbloomed. Sorry, uh, 360 games. And you also got. If I go back. We have um, seen by LCD. Interesting with this one is you can do a lot. Of, you can do a lot of tweak into it. So you can tweak the scan line depth and everything as well. So what I found is, if you put it on five, it works quite well. So you can you can basically heighten the colours and, uh, and colour low, colour highs, intensity, and um, you can do the tint. So you can have the different tints if you want. If I go back to it. So now we've got scan lines, vertical scan lines. But if I pause it in a second, they're not quite vertical scan lines. It's got more of a, a normal. F You've got normal scan lines over vertical scan lines. This is this is where it looks a little bit. It looks a little bit weird. So if I do um, if I do the scan scan line depth, if I turn that down. Let's have a look if it gets rid of the vertical. Yeah, so this is this is what I found is a little bit weird about it. When you put that on, when you put that mode on, you've got scan lines. So you can see I got vertical scan lines. That's if you can see it, of course. There's vertical scan lines on at the moment. But when you when you do the other option for scan lines, it adds horizontal scan lines. Which is a bit weird. So you end up with a sort of shadow mask type look. Like if I do that and then go back out. So now I've literally got the shadow mask sort of squares with vertical. And actually that don't look too bad. Okay, that's quite an interesting look. It looks a bit like a high res CRT type look. So I wonder if you can do this. You mean being as a go in? Yeah, so they, they, there's quite a, they, they have had quite a lot of options, and I'm assuming these are going to go over to the um, the other collections. So if I do, um, so I do color intensity, color highs. Okay, so you can basically boost the colors a bit if I wanted to, and then tint. Doesn't seem to be doing a huge amount. Or oh, tint is off. That's why. Ah, you are. Yeah, so you can basically brighten the screen up a little bit if you wanted to. You can you can mess around this. There is definitely a bit of configuring you can do on this. But you can have the bloom. You could like bloom it just a, just a little bit, just to, you know, just for the hell of it. So the lows. What does that do? Okay, so let's just do that and see what it looks like. Yeah, so you've got like a, um, almost like a shadow mask filter going on now. 
but we're brighter colours than the brightest green. So I give them that. They've, they've, they, they have given you quite a lot of options, but I did notice something very strange when it comes to X Multiply. We'll get to that when I play it. Sorry, I've only had the one go of it. I was I was messing around with the filters and stuff. Playability wise more, it, it plays alright. In fact it plays it plays quite nice. It's pretty responsive. I think they've spent a decent amount of time actually making this feel alright. Oh yeah, you were a bit rough last time you saw it, couldn't you? Forgot about it. Talks about the NES version of this. So if I go back now, so if I go back to options, go to video, and then we change it to the um, changes to the widescreen version. See what that looks like. You can see that filter now you put on it. We just knackered real. Uh So the the shadow mask, the filters you can put on you. Yeah, at least, at least they've given you um, the option to configure things a little bit. So I got to I got to commend them on that. At least it's not basically just blurred scan lines and that's that. I just literally had to go with X Multiplayer in the um, the PC Engine one. But I said, well, for an NES game, this does play quite nice. So if I go back to that now, so I'll change, I'll take the filter off. So at least, at least, this, you know, the uh, same boy one, you can just mess around with a lot of stuff on and changing, change it back to default then, basically, if you wanted to. Uh, oh, there's also um, wallpapers. There's not many on your mind. It's literally just them two. And you can change the brightness. So let's have the nebula one just for the elevator. on this stage. <laughs> yeah, and it's got trophies as we've just found out.
So I haven't done review this yet, because I, I wanna I wanna play it properly first, like I'm not into having it five minutes out the door to review, which I technically could do because it's not if I haven't played these games a lot before. But nope, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, so I think a twenty quid for what you get in is not that bad. I know some people are like slagging it off a little bit. If you think of it, if these these free games, if you were going to buy a marquee archives, I know, not they're not all arcade games. Obviously, the one isn't. You'd be paying almost five, six pound each. So you're talking like 17, 18 quid, depending on how much they are for the arcade archive stuff. So I think twenty quid with all the extra options, which you get, which you don't get with the arcade archive stuffs. Um, so far, I don't see that bad. They do seem quite nicely done, so... But... I shall play it a lot more and figure it out. I tried to get a code for that Valferis has just come out, but um, they've run out of review codes. That would have been quite cool to get. I think they've only announced three of the um, collections. Like I said, you've got the Gunforce games and another game, which I can't remember what it is. Uh, this this one, and there's one with Dragon Breed and something else on. Oh, I think it was Air Duel, actually. It was the Gunforce games and Air Duel is the next one. So there's two more, so we... Our type's got to be one of them, haven't they? Never know where to go on this boss. I'd be shocked if our type wasn't one of the collections. God, that's like a shield, isn't it? So I don't like that. We'll go for each version of this game, of um, all the versions we've got on it. Safe for there. Ah, does it sit after a while? If it do, I, it's all right for a while, but um, yeah, I'm, I, I do like a bit of water fire, I gotta say. It's 
Actually, for, for an NES, this is a surprisingly good version, isn't it? Done a really good job there. Music on this level is a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I just want to get rid of the front of it. I don't like mashing the fire button every now and then. Got loads of lives in this version. music. Ira made some uh, super tricky arcade games, didn't he? Can't shoot that, that's bizarre. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You can get sort of into that uh, thing. It's sometimes just doing it fast enough is a problem. Some games you have to do it, don't you, basically? I can't remember what this thing does. The next boss I joined but the uh, ball thing you've got to get in the middle of. Yeah, it's nice to see him back, man. <sighs> Looks like a rotten level, doesn't it? Oh yeah, these ones you gotta shoot them from behind. These are a pain in the arcade. Them on that. It's my five wins bending around, that's quite handy. This is one of the games I got rid of on my NES, on my uh, Famicom. I haven't got a Famicom anymore though, so... I 
I should get one back, but I suppose I don't really need it. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> Doodle -doo -doo. Yeah, it does play nice this version. Input lag is pretty pretty decent on this. Feels alright. Feels nice and responsive. Ooh, okay, back on's gone. That means a boss. Ah, it's this thing and I hate this play thing. Trying to go nuts, doesn't matter. This is the worst boss of the entire game. At least you've got plenty of room to get around it. Right, I need them to come out of there. Come on, come out of there. Perfect. I need to get back in there somehow. Oh. I should have gone back down, shouldn't I? I hate that boss. Super annoying that boss is. the gauntlet to trying to dodge all these. I'm trying to get powered up. Right, you need to have directional firing. For this boss. Chucking the lives at me though. Here we go in. This boss gets me on the PC engine and <laughs> loads as well. Once you get inside there, it's not too bad. Get out of there. Okay, that's one. Come on. Out there, you little shit. is fairly big on this as well, eh? Ooh. We had a bit of a spike limit then, didn't we? again.
Yep. We'll have one credit on each one of them now and go through it. Come on, come on, round here, round here. If I can draw them down here. Okay, I'm going to stay here. I want that to open. And I'm up the top. Once you're in there, that's not too bad. Okay. So one CC at least anyway. There's that. Now it's the real the real game. Not the simulation. Did they once you see it? I'm not sure. Probably didn't actually. Take our back. I hate to sell. Okay, I'm going down easy bear. Okay, I need better speed. I didn't want that, what did you want? Okay. These missiles are just kicking ass. Music's weird, isn't it, on this version? Oh, I crashed into the wall. So... The slack frog is here to go. Great, I'm not going to be able to get that power up. No more time. Weird choice of music. You and Julian, how's it going? I um, I finished full void after. I enjoyed it. A bit short, but 
But good, nevertheless. Uh, I can't go across it. Oh great. There's a trap. That was a trap. Um, I'm not sure exactly. So I played over a couple, of, like a couple of days, probably about three, maybe four hours. The time you work everything, maybe something like that. Not like a huge amount of time, but. I started playing through it again. The artwork's nice as well, then. It's not like a super long game. I, I reckon that you could. I reckon speed. It's probably as a game you could speed run. You could probably speed run in about. Hour or something, maybe? If you know exactly where you were going, what you were doing. Does it actually tell you the time you uh, took to finish it? Because I, I didn't notice that. Oh, I got stuck. Yeah, I think I missed one or two achievements as well. So, last image fight on the uh, NES, or the Famicom. I'm not sure if there's any differences with the NES version. Um, right, so the question is, how do we go back? Ah, right, so close game. So, it loads back up. There must, there might be a little bit of a difference between them. I'm not entirely sure what. So the other versions we got is the arcade and the PC Engine. So let's do the GP version of the arcade. Yeah, I, it was probably something like that for me as well. Round about that amount, I would say. That is a super landing strip, isn't it? That should be a bit wider than that. Oh, maybe not. Um, I think it was... I think it was basically one of the... Yeah, it's clicking the uh, right stick down. No, I haven't a chance to play in yet. I need to sit down and have a go over. I've been playing like uh, Spider Man a bit on the uh, PS5. I had to go with the. Um, the FPS game on it seemed alright. Like IRM's like really deep sort of uh, sound chip. It's quite unique sound they've got to their games. I don't know what um, button it is to change speed. Ah, I got it. Oh really? It's good then. I guess, if you put that much time into it. Right, let's give that another go. It's an Amiga game, isn't it, apparently? Right, 
school free. Yeah, I love a, I love a good go with it when I'm um, when I'm off work, but um, I need to have a play on it. So I got those other ones. Is it this week? Is this week in it? Tomorrow? And off? Is it tomorrow they're out? Was it in uh, the week? I thought it was like the 25th. I'm not sure whether I'm going to get the other ones tomorrow. Or was it the 28th? I thought they stopped slightly to the side. Are we a glitch in? So when I was in uh, when I was in Tokyo in Hay, I watched uh, basically a business guy just literally uh, come in, sat down, he, d he double looped it without losing life. It's just like okay, fair enough. Ah, twenty eighth. Twenty-eighth. It's the twenty-fourth tomorrow, is it? So like Tuesday or whatever it comes out. Is it? Might go by the weekend then, if I like you did last time. <coughs> That'd be nice. Probably done with the side race firing ones, but. See, this seems a nice version of the arcade one as well. There's a little bit of um, jerky scrolling on the background, but that could be because it's an arcade game. I, I noticed that on. Um, let me check something. Options, video. Just put on crispy filter. Try the soft filter then. See if that eliminates. Um... It's weird. That's the pause. No, it's still the same. As I said I rem arcade games do run at weird refresh rates. Um, I've got that Asterbergs one, Asterbros, sorry, and the um, the first Duke Nukem one, with the two remakes of the PC games. They seem quite fun when I play them. I know everyone sort of uh, really likes the uh, the old PC games. I've never really properly played them. A bit rough about decent um, firing. I'm not going to get any weapons, though. The Asterbergs ones look like they might be uh, worth having. I know the platform game is pretty good. 
It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. I'll have to check this out on meme and see if you still get the slightly jerky background. As I say, it could just be arcade games. I am in there for the 57 point or 56 point whatever hurts. So that's the arcade one anyway. Which seems a nice version of the arcade. See if the options go across all versions. You had yours on Saturday, was it after? So you've got the two versions and then you've got the PC Engine version. So we'll have a go with this. Let's have a look if the options I change change per does it go over all of them or just uh, it should be per game really, shouldn't it? Yeah, it is right. Okay, that's cool. PC Engine one's a really nice conversion in the arcade. Obviously, you could never match the arcade one, but... This is the version I'm more used to playing. So it can't be this, it must be the uh, just what the arcade ones like. So all other versions are like really smooth on you. Yeah, the Hugh card's hard, isn't it? Oh, I gotta get in the middle of them. Yeah, it's the first one, it is. Like the first game on you is hard, but the uh, second one, the second one's rock solid. Yeah, I got the Hugh cards as well. We started back in the day as well. I don't think this game's ever gonna like super super expensive. how much it is now mind it might be now all I know the iron games got quite a unique sound on the on the PC Engine, haven't 
you, I think it's the drum beat it is. Yeah, I think the second game is, is worth quite a bit these days. So you can see it's a nice conversion of the PC Engine as well. Let's have one more go and see if I can get a bit further. Let's give it another try. I think I just went normal shot. Oops. I don't think my auto fire button's working. Nah. I think my wires come off. I'm not pulling it out to sort it out because the auto fight is not particularly very good on the brook board anyway. It's pretty useless to be honest. I'm too slow. Right, seems I didn't pick auto fire. So, it loads back. So that's all the versions of um, Image Fight we got on here, which is quite nice to have each version. Now we got the CD version of Part Two. This game is ridiculously hard. You think Image Fight was hard? Oh boy! I've never. I've tried. I've tried streaming this a few times. I'm like, but I just never got very far on it. few levels maybe Seireki 2048年。Seireki。7月18日。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。Seireki。
stayed in exactly the same spot. Never owned the uh, CD version of this either. Jump in, that was weird. Okay, boss is coming up. No, nothing so far. I haven't heard anything. So they did say they were gonna they're gonna email us a week before it. Uh, oh my god, it comes out. So I ain't heard nothing. nice if you did have some news on it. Seems they're checking out uh, analog pockets all over the place. So I'm hoping it's not going to get delayed. Yeah, they are. Do not where to go then. Try again. Yeah, they go like getting it by Christmas. They could, they could do it. Analog have shipped stuff in December before for Christmas. Be joyful though. The um, the Amico is finally being released. And they're using a brand new hardware model, which is quite interesting. <laughs> Sign up for the service, pay 15 quid a game, and then have to own like multiple mobile phones to play it. And I don't even know whether uh, you've got to buy it per mobile phone either. I don't know what he's going to do now, let's see if I'm... Oh, he's going to ram me. Here's TB8. Ah. I was thinking that was. Now, I wasn't joking when I said this game is solid. I suppose it is learnable, but it's... It's pretty hard.
target inside. I forgot it comes back up. Uh. Right, let's do it from the beginning. Oh, it's eight hours you played, is it? What's the select button on the, uh... I don't know what the select button is. Close game. It's not bad, that's pretty good. Right, we'll configure. I, I'm I'm gonna push it and put an easy. Oh, I don't want to do that. There's all cutscenes off. How do you go back? Oh, right, okay. Would be a nice little Christmas present if we did have it by Christmas, wouldn't it? I've been waiting since they first uh, I bought it day one. Rams fast as well. Oh, I'm ready for them, but he just he rams like stupidly fast. Blue one. What the hell? Target inside. I literally have to pull full. Oh, he's. Full speed on it. Yep, the spear. They weren't wrong on the title screen. I gotta get my.
target in fact. Come on. This missile's are a nightmare, eh? Yep, I've not very successfully got very far in this game. A couple of levels. Missiles are absolute nightmare. <sighs> oh, this is this is by heart, but by easy by far the best. You know, not the best, but the hardest game in, on this collection. I think this game would take a huge amount of practice to be able to, to be there. Especially if trying 1cc here. So I can try and kill these missiles. It's a nightmare, those missiles go off screen and then come back on. Anyway, the damn hard game I was. Gets more ridiculously hard as well the further you get into it. I think just drop a cast of tart on me. Great. Just what I wanted. So, X multiplayer then. Let's go with the. I don't want the differences. Let's try the world one for a change. Normally I go for the JP version. Let's cut it down to one of that. It's a nice game, this as well. Making a huge mess just because of top. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. So that would be. 
probably change that actually, right stick for credit. Not an arcade game I've played a huge amount of, but um, it is a nice game. What I what I noticed of on this version though, which is a bit on this collection, I'll show you now. If you go to options, uh, we go to video, and then we go down to filters. So you put the scanline filter on. Uh, right, so you put the scanline filter on. And then you go out of it. I don't know whether you can see it. But. Scanline's a vertical. Oh no, that's like a shadow mask. Okay, I'll take that back. Eh? Why did I look at them last time? They were vertical. Yeah, if you put a note, just have a look. Yeah, the vertical scan lines, if you can see them there. you got to use the other Shadow Mask to get, like, um... Which is a bit weird on a horizontal game, but... you got to basically put, like, a, a checkerboard effect onto it. For some reason, the scan lines are vertical. It's a bit weird. So I'll, I'll just turn uh, that filter off. Interesting mechanic with these things that float around you. They almost move a little bit like the dragon in Dragon Breed. Some respects. And use them to stay in one position as well, like that. Yeah, it's a nice looking game, it's just pretty cool. Plays really good as well. Like I said, it's got an interesting mechanic. Got that weird glitch every now and then, do Classic uh, IRM big battleship. They're coming out of it. Oh, 
didn't know where I was going in. Alright, okay, so this is... Uh, Got to do it in one go, classic. Come out and never cage one day if they do another um, iron collection. You never know. Really speed it up, I knew. It's tricky to tell where that's going. Dodge that, obviously not. Nice game, huh? We'll have another go now from the beginning. So, yeah, this collection seems pretty nice. Like I said, they are they are basically counting on doing five, so. I can't remember exactly how many IRM games they are. Hmm. I nearly finished. Happy now I had a bunch. Yeah, so um I say this one's got X multiplier and the an image fight. The second one's got um I think that one was Gun Force and A Duel. So two Gun Force games and A Duel. So that's one. So and then the next one's going to be Dragon Breed. I think it was uh, what was the? You got the little sort of like wizard flying game or witch flying game on the broomsticks. I can't remember the name that. That and something else. I think. Yeah, it is a tough game as well. Not as tough as um, Image Fight Two, mind. All IRM games are tough, innit? None of them were easy. I always kept you coming back. I always remember that biomechanical sort of feel, didn't it? So one of them is going to have to be an R-Type one, isn't it? They can... They would have to do an R-Type uh, release. That'd be crazy if they didn't. So at least one more collection, whatever that would be.
is a nice version of this on the PlayStation as well. The arcade Gears X multiplayer. No coughing. Yeah, Gunforce. I, I quite like the ball from him, to be honest, but yeah, part two is really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's the team that went on to make um, Start Nasca, wasn't it? At the end of doing Metal Slug. You can see where the ideas came from, couldn't it? Ah, so different firing will block different weapons. Didn't realise that. So blue blocks red bullets. I didn't realise that in this game. Not sure how many times you can power the weapon up. I think it's twice, but uh, we'll find out now. There's a blue one coming up here. Gun Force 2 is, is really over the top, isn't it? I thought I was out of the way where it was going to go then. Weapons again. Good, good game. Evercade could definitely do uh, more Iron games, can they? And uh, Toplan games. Those two Toplan uh, collections they got are very good. Two of them. Three of them, that would be probably a bit crazy.
Try and get as fast as some extra speed. So? Yeah, it would be, I think. There's definitely, there's a lot of games they could chuck on, isn't it? Yeah, that would be really cool on Nevergate to have that uh, Meg Drive map by um, Yusuke Shiro. Looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? That was sneaky. Could be a nice game. It looks like it's got really nice graphics on it as well. I know he's been working on it for quite a while. Wonder if his um, sister's involved in the any other graphics again. She did the graphics for um, Streets of Rage games. He did some of the, he did all obviously all the music and various things, but it was like a family game essentially. That was his mother was running the company. His sister was a graphics artist. He obviously did the music. I think he did other stuff as well. I might end up being cartridge only. I think I'll, I'll probably end up buying that, I think. third level. Let's continue. Pause and continue the same button. Oh, that's going to be tricky without uh, any weapons. Got a little bit trapped then. speeds on this not a bad it's not a bad amount to be honest it's just stay where it was
No. That's quite tricky keeping an eye on all them. It's proven a bit difficult to get. Yeah, d definitely tricky, especially trying to get the uh, enemies behind you. You need to sort that out when you're continuing, that's the, like the pause. That could be it, that's just, that might be just be a little bug or something. Not an issue, but. Okay, that's how I've got to kill him. Ah. Maybe I'm better than getting the ones behind me first. Bouncing mechanic, out, isn't it? Just gonna say, how the hell am I gonna get with me? I'm not gonna get any more speed. Busy looking at that uh, guy then. Oh, he came down a bit faster than I was expecting. Right, we'll go back. So, that's the IOM collection anyway, guys. And it, it seems nicely done. Easy. All right. So they they've got the dip switch settings as well. Okay. Stick aim. Oh, so you can stick aim with the tentacles as well. That's interesting as well. Following controls. Direct both arms. That's. I would make the game considerably easier. I would say. If you could direct it. 
That's quite an interesting idea. I haven't got a double stick set up at the moment to test it, but uh, you get the idea. Yeah, so it seems a nice collection. I'll have to play some more. I say, I suppose they, you know, they probably could have put more games on you for the money, but I think it's only like 20 quid. So, you know, it's not, it's not if it's expensive. Let me see how much it cost. Probably because I've got it, it probably won't come up in the list, will it? As much as this store is way slower, I much prefer this store to the PS5 one. Uh, oh, sorry, him, not I ran. I ran. No, still don't come up. How many matches? That's bizarre. Uh, it must be in the. Uh, come out new games it must be in that section so I'm sure it's out I know Rex what oh, this was out already oh, maybe not and they didn't mention anything about not showing it maybe it's out Friday maybe it's out tomorrow I'm sure they said it was out on Tuesday. Mm, okay. But I've got a few other things on here as well. I've got that do that um, triple screen uh, Darius. Let's give that a blast. I'm sure they never mentioned anything about not showing it. He said it was out on Wednesday or something. Oops, I just accidentally turned the cab off. Oops, sorry guys. I was uh wrong button on my phone. I got buddy wireless plug set up. I just tapped the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> off it went. Ah, uh, both. So wait for the boot back up a minute. That means the PlayStation's gonna have a fit if I can find the button to push it in. Come on, where's the button? Sorry, hang on. Yes. No one's gonna have a fit telling me I'm shut it down probably. Uh let's have a look, I room collection. I've got back on now. I room collection volume one. X multiply. When do you say it's coming out? Yeah, 20 quid. There's 20 quid on the e store. Um, release date 21st. Which was, uh, yeah, that was Tuesday, wasn't it? 21st. It's 23rd today, is it? That's weird. It's not on the PlayStation store. So I thought, I'm pretty sure you said I'd get like a press pack, which I didn't actually, but... Right, it is booting back up, I think. Yeah, it is. Give me five. Takes a while to kick in sometimes when you've... Uh, I'm shut it off properly. Come on, PlayStation. PlayStation all. PlayStation death. Yeah, I got all the plugs on the cab and stuff set up wirelessly. It's like a fed up of switching uh, switches over, so I got an app on the phone side. Super handy for uh, sitting by a PC, turning the cab on and updating your mister and turning it back off. <laughs> really handy for that. Come on, come on, PlayStation, turn on.
took ages to turn on. Oh, here we go. Just kicked in then. I don't know where you've seen that. Uh, my fault. Right, now it's making noises. It's booting up probably. A PlayStation logo. Up it is. Hopefully you get one. Yeah, you are. Could put an SSD in there. But, uh, I can't be asked. I got a two terabyte drive in there as it is. Come on, turn on. Uh, PlayStation button. Oh God, have I got a PlayStation button set up on you? And uh, I don't know if I have. Yeah, home button. Okay, we're good. Right, so what I was saying, before I rudely turned it off, was I got the triple screen Darius on you. It looks great as well. Weird why they never put this on the collection. Mm-hmm. Sorry about hmm, That's weird. Can I see uh, Darius data? <laughs> Bizarre. Come on, you need to just download it. Right, though. Right, I need to set up the buttons for my button settings. So I want that is fire. So that can be missile and bomb. I'll have that as um I'll have that as fifteen and then I'll have this one as missile and bomb. And I'll have that as can't change it. Weird. I'll have asked 30. Let's do it that way instead. Okay. And... That is wide, baby. <laughs> Super wide. Looks wicked on the uh, free screen version. I've only had a few goals on this since I've had it. I still think this game looks really good. Some nice big sort of graphics on it and stuff, and planets in the background and stuff. You seen that one in Hayden? You uh, been? But they got him on that two massive screens, that pedestal. It's a business size. Um, 
It is. What I should do is go to display options. Um, it's not like I could stretch out one more, I think. Just that extra set stretch. Which means I need to do that one as well, don't I? And then if I do wallpaper off, that's cool. The ultra panels. At least they went and did a lot of stuff to this one. It probably is harder. Yeah, you gotta know where to place the ship, I'm doing. Sort of I tend to sort of stay round about by here. Seems to be a good place, but You get this getting close. Try and kill him quick, which I didn't. Shield gun. can kill this thing fast as well. It is really good. You can get in there and you can you can hit that bomb which will kill him really fast, but it's a bit tricky to get in there. <laughs> I remember the first time I seen this in the arcade, it was just like wow. the approach I think. It definitely works quite well on a um, widescreen TV, don't it? Obviously you haven't got uh, the three screens, but two screens essentially widescreen, but Things are a bit of a nightmare. 
It's a bit easier to dodge, I think, on the pre-screen version. Then. You need those two um, auto fire settings, 15 and, um, and 30. 15 for just normal firing, and then 30 for up close. <laughs> That's quite funny. Well, I was dreaming last night, it's just come back to me. I dreamt that I bought a car online without actually uh, buying it, without actually seeing it. I turned up at the uh, at the dealers to buy it, and it was this little tiny, tiny pink car. Pink girl's car. And I was just like, ah, oh, fuck. I'd already signed the papers over as well. I have no, I woke up thinking, me. <laughs> it was like a really crappy pink as well. Like, I don't mind pink, especially luminous pink, it's less. No, not really. I've been alright with that. <laughs> I remember waking up thinking, what the hell am I going to do? I've just spent like seven grand on a shitty small pink car. It was a reasonably normal dream as well. Come on, come up here. I want, I want that. I really want that. Lost my shield. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. Trying to get our power up. I have no idea. It was like some sort of like posh sounding car. I can't remember what it was, but it was this like little pink buddy girl's car. Where like a, you know, you get that um really light sort of coloured pink, like a almost like a salmon colour. It was that. I could have lived with a pink car. Not that colour. The bloody bullets went down. I have no idea what triggered that. <laughs> I know it's weird where dreams come from, isn't it? They're super random. 
Oh, that's only 18, is it? Nice. That's nice, that is. I, w I would say that's probably the hardest Darius game, though. It's a good, it's a good one, though. I say it's even harder than this one. I need, I need a shield, really. Do, do, do. It's a nice, re it's a nice remake of you, Darius, one as well. I really need that. Come on, little guy, fuck it off. Took my shield as well. Nope. The Switch version's uh, good as well, as far as I know. The M2 stuff on the Switch is very good. I've got the um, I got the Darius collection on Switch, and that, that's that's great. It's not your usual sort of um, shitty switch port, if you know what I'm saying. Let's go a different route. Definitely missed the shield, haven't I? Yeah, that's good, that extra one, isn't it? I like that as well. Right, Sages, how's it going, mate? I didn't notice you jumped in then. Yeah, Davis game is great. Let's try a bottom route. It's going to be hard, the bottom route, but... I'm killing in one go if you're lucky. Oh, 
falling in time. He died it. But yeah, I lost my shield trying to get at it. Shield. I've already had enough time to collect it. Eh? Oh, a lot harder going down in it. Jamie is a much harder route. Him. I don't want to look because I'm going to die if I do. I looked. He's going to split open now, isn't he? Ah, that route. This game is. Right, let's give you one more goal. At least the sound works, this don't work in main. The explosions are like ridiculously overbloomed. How much this was when it uh, first came out, the free screen version. I bet it won't cheap. Free arcade mode, because they do the sit down version as well. I only ever seen the stand up version back in the day. that too early in. 
Oh, we've actually done the mod view. Nice. What do you think? It's just that one that one cable's a little bit to bend in the right position, isn't it? Oh yeah, Metro Venus. Okay. I like Metro Venus. That's, there's a lot of them though, isn't it, if you're trying to collect them. What's your favourite one? Or oh, your favourite favourite sort of ones? Now oh, my Mr. Shield. There's a lot of good ones around, isn't it? Probably Cynthia Knight's probably my favourite one. Can get in there and get that fast. Yeah, it's a bit hard to do. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Records a little toward Diedrich. That's, I, I played it a little bit, it, it is really nice. It looks beautiful as well. That company's got a new game coming out as well, haven't they? Oh, I destroyed it. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, is that that double one, Gal Guardians? Well, you, you've got to swap between the two characters. I, I don't like it. It's nice, but the swap between the two characters is a massive pain in the ass. Especially when you've got to get back to a character to try and survive. Ah, oh, it's, it's super annoying. I don't think it worked, to be honest. I've lost all my shield, though, great. I did play it for a while, like, but I don't like the double mechanic. You might like it, you never know. But they've got a new one. It's, I can't remember the name of it. It's got a really Japanese or sounding name, which actually looks good. Shield would be lovely. Like that. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, I really fancy the look of that um, Gal Guardians one, but um, yeah, I really didn't like the, uh, the double mechanic. Yeah, it might, you might like it. It might be worth you giving it a go. But the new one they've just released looks like they've taken that and taken the double mechanic out. Got all the same sort of ideas, just not the double mechanic. Yeah, I just found like say say you died at a boss. If you one character, the one character dies at a boss. To try and save that character, you've got to get to the boss of the remaining ends you've got, and then you manage to save the character. And then because you save the character, you lose your energy, then you get hill, killed, then you've got to go back to the boss again and try and save the character, and you end up in a bit of a loop, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, the pad, the pad works really nice. You notice the one fault on your mind is is the bloody button on the bottom there. When you hold it down, it sits on top of that one button. That's my only complaint. Apart from that, it works great. And it on this mist that I'm on by here, where the other one kept losing, I had to resync it every time I turn it on. It doesn't with that one. It just keeps the sync. Shield as well, great. Oh, damn. Now we're in troubles. I'm real troubles, though. Gonna get it. Pretty crabs. it in place. I don't want to lock it too close to me. One. Yeah, I think it is. I'm not sure what it's on, to be honest. I think it just got it in Bluetooth mode. Just whatever it's done, just switch it to Bluetooth and it just works, basically. And it runs nice. It's lucky I picked up um, a decent second hand pad. Someone go with this. Oh, you did, do. What's he running like on the machine? Is 
Is it running okay? One eight cent. Okay, comfy. Was that the Game Boy one? Was that today? The blue Game Boy? Are they all run great today? Cool. Oh, I want that one. Let's try the event mode again. Oh no, I didn't see that one. I love this Darius. I don't know what it is about this game. I just I really love this game. Okay. I should do really. I haven't really done it. Like I've I've done some of my uh, favorite schmups in the past. Oh, Trevor McFur. Oh, I love a bit of McFur. I'd have to first work out which one's my favourite swaps. <laughs> have you seen the uh, new Trouble Witches? Looks really good. Oh, full 3D backgrounds. Looks like a pretty nice overhaul of the game. Oh my god. Okay, I suck.
Ah, kom igen. Good off you, buddy. Yep, no worries. Catch you on. Cheers for popping in. I've played that. It's not very good, is it? It's a cheap Korean homebrew game, I think. Okay, I can't play this game. I tell you what, let's go back to the um let's go to the original one. Chronicle Saviors. Yeah, it's it's not great. It used to be on those cheap multi cards and stuff. They did bring out the beat em up though, didn't they? The scroll long one. That that's actually pretty nice. That's probably the nicest cheap cheapo Korean game they made. Actually I should play the um Come on. Uh, well, I'll do that one. Yeah, I can't remember the name that beat him up, but it's a little bit like uh, Streets of Rage. Rory Endel, it's a pretty nice game. I'll have a go with some of the DLC now, after this. The DLC is fun. I'd love the arcade machine this. Change my buttons. Trolls. So shot is right. Turn should be there. Bomb should be there. I do this was a PSP game first, and they actually made it into an arcade game. Not very often that happens. Water margin, yeah. It's got a different name, I think, the original version. Bosses on this are epic as well. Um. Great, the blast for shield.
Yeah, massive shame, man. I still need to finish that, don't I? I got like another 25 levels to go. I was tempted with the um, Billings card. Nice lot of weapons on this level. <laughs> yeah, Kate's again send the car arcade edition. AC. It needs to be done. You need to stay in the middle of this. Fight your beam at me. When you first get to this, those, those lasers are a nightmare to dodge. Fighting Lord will be it. So they're all going out of print. They done five of me. I've got one of them. I think it's the first one. Does that include the the Lynx ones as well? I'm sure. That, yeah, they did mention about that, didn't they? Might be worth picking them up if they go on a little print. Missed the power up.
I have our shield, thank you very much. Okay, they will with me a little bit. Yeah, I think I think I heard they were pulling their license. Oh, that includes them as well, is it? Yeah, maybe I should pick them up. What are you thinking about, eh? It's a shame they pull in the license. I wonder if they are uh, planning to release more games themselves. The Atari having a bit of a resurgence lately, aren't they? And they didn't they buy out Infograms? can be tricky. Bendy lasers. Yeah, I didn't have a, um, a bomb in. Go on now. Yeah, I like the, I like the look of the One Links card. The, the first one doesn't look very good, but the, the second one, the ones with um, Zalo Mercenary and a few things like that in there, they ain't too bad. Oh, they are releasing more cards today. Yeah, I think they got plans to release a lot of stuff themselves. <laughs> Love the sound of this game. It's like haunting, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to have a look at the other Atari cards. I got the first one. Actually, no, it's a Namco card that is, I'm trying to think of.
Cool. Die! Let me go with the, um, the other mode now. The DLC mode's quite fun in this. I don't know why they never can just basically merge this into one game instead of uh, being cheap and trying to charge us twice. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to go out tonight. Right, right on it. I'm going to cancel back it with. Do you know what cards are coming? Have they said? Right then. What one shall I play? Metal Black? I still Metal Black. Okay. I'm um, seeing that. That's cool. Let me just make sure all the controls are right. Short turn uh, beam. It's just nice and easy to change buttons in this game. Metal black, which was meant to be now oh, yes free, wasn't it? Got changed. A nice game, Metal Black. I'd love to play the event mode on this and get into playing it. I keep meaning to go through it, but there's so much to play in this game. I know it costs a lot of money, but it's... I don't regret buying it. Mind I play this game is that it's a zombie show, is it? Right, okay. Talking about zombie shows, I shame they didn't do a second series of um, To the Lake. The Russian show, that was good. And the third series of... Um, oh, what's the one where they're on the plane? They're running away on a plane because the light is going to kill them. Into the night. That's good as well. Even though the second series wasn't quite as good as the first, but... It was still good. One of the best foreign shows is Buddy. Um... Oh God! The Spanish one with the uh, House of Paper, or oh, what's it called? Buddy, uh, what's the British name for it? The one with the uh, Rob the uh, Spanish Mint. I think of the original name for my play, I just can't think what the name is. Yeah, not seen that. Yeah, the plain one's good. Into the night. Hey, to the lake is good as well. That's another Russian one, but uh, that's really good as well.
seasons with games back as well. I think there might be another season there. That was a cool show as well. So I was trying to think I'd name that show. <laughs> I can think of the uh, Spanish name for it. It's brilliant as well. Ah, what's it called? If I give me no eyes. Money heist, that's what I'm thinking of. You seen that? That's brilliant. You know the Spanish name is called the House of Paper. It's a brilliant show, guys. In fact, I wouldn't mind watching all of them again. My shield here. Oh my god. Yeah, money heist. I love our show. Our show is fantastic. Super addictive watching. Silly, it's a bit silly, but it's like it's fucking brilliant. It's five seasons of it, man, and they just, they just once you start watching, I'm set. Game over. You just gotta watch every goddamn one of them. They did a remake of it, like a, a Taiwanese remake of it. I started watching it, and it, it's okay, but. Uh, yeah, the original Spanish one is fantastic. What's cool about that show as well, it, it was only ever made, it was it was literally only ever made for Spanish television, and the people in it just never, ever thought that it would go outside Japan, as outside uh, Spain, and it became like the number one show in the world. And some of, some of the actors from it have ended up in Hollywood. It's, it's, Money Heist is, is fantastic. If you ain't seen that, I definitely suggest our show. Bullet me, aren't I? It's 
last time I was in. That was odd. Oh, watch it by the talent and talent. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's like super addictive watching. All the characters are really good in there as well. Even works quite well, doesn't it? As a single screen, instead of the double screen. Shield. Ah, failed. Oh yeah, definitely. That's uh, that's awesome. We're going back. Didn't waste no time there. Got to give you that. That's really cool. How long are you going for this time? <laughs> oh, I don't know, we should watch it. Keep you interested when you're on the flight. Two weeks, nice. Going down south a bit this time, innit? We went down south last time anyway, didn't it? it? Should be a bit cooler this time of year as well, so we've probably gone past the uh, the rainy season. Dun, dun. Loads of different um, the space area one's quite fun. It's got loads of music on this game. It's got literally music from every Darius game on here. It's cool they managed to add all these mechanics from these games into this. Ah, cool shoe, nice. Yeah, that should be cool. That should be really interesting. DLC altogether. You wouldn't get it on a sale if you buy it, but it does cost quite a bit. But it's worth it. Yeah, that should be good down there. That should be really interesting. Right. That's going to be me for tonight, guys. That was fun. That um, Iron Collection seems pretty nice for what it is. I'll have to give it some more... Uh, some more treatment before I end up doing a review of it. But we do a review on the weekend. Because it's Friday tomorrow, isn't it? So, not long. Yep, no worries. When, what day are you actually going? 
Yep, cheers for everyone jumping in. Anyone left in the chat? Hey, Lucas, cheers for looking. Can't fold it. I did download. Um, uh, what did I get? Maybe a uh, Metroidvania game, I can't remember. Yeah, that one. But uh, I'll tell you what, seems we Let's have a quick look at this. Are oh, you going Monday? Oh, bloody hell. That's definitely not long. Yeah, I will, buddy. I, I don't think so at the moment. I can't think of anything I want at the moment. But if I do, I'll let you know. That's definitely not long. Let's have a quick quick uh, look at this while we uh, remember, because I checked this on you earlier. In the beginning, and then uh, I'll dust. shoot off in. And from that dust, the moon was born. This was on uh, PlayStation uh, Plus Extra. Suddenly, it shattered. Great celestial chunks cascaded from the heavens unto Earth. From one prodigious shard spawned humanity, and from another, yeah, <laughs> cool. The gods. Yeah, I've seen a hard. I've got to have a look, haven't I? Many years, balance endured until a foul and malevolent deity. There've been plenty of book offs. Exil spread greed. All right, let's have a look at this actual. Let's have a look at this actual. I think it's a Metroidvania game. I've heard of it before. Two centuries ago, from the first crusade, although all gods have chained the kingdoms of men, lay something, something. Lone warrior approaches the ancient citadel. Okay, interesting graphic style. Maybe it's not a Metroidvania, maybe it's a top down game. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so you got a speed move. What else we got? Well, I'll see it for the moment. A uh, charge. Yeah, I'm sure I've used this before. I'm jealous as well. Totally. A little quiff. Let's see what we gotta fight twice, monsters or whatever. So this looks quite cool. <coughs> I quite like these top down games. Ah wait, right, you got a bar for the uh, speed in. That's cool. This is quite cool. but like uh, top down charge attack okay that takes a fair amount of energy off him so we can stun the enemies as well like in Dark Souls
Ravi. Get out of the way. Dead. Yeah, I can imagine uh, Japan's just not funny in the summer. Hot. My mate said that he went in the summer once and he said he wouldn't do it again. <clears throat> I quite like this. Right, I won't carry on playing because I'll be here forever. I can't pause it. How do you get out then? I see one of these ones where there's no going back. Okay, that looks cool. Right, and I'm going to shoot off in. Well, if I don't see you on Saturday beam, which I probably will expect, but if I don't, have a good time. And if uh, I do want something, I'll let you know. <laughs> Japanese Atari games. You can see that coming. <laughs> Retro stuff has gone up quite a bit, apparently. Right, let me sh probably shut this thing down. Yeah, I've heard uh, retro's gone up quite a bit. I just don't think uh, UK eBay sellers have sort of uh, cottoned on to the fact that uh, the prices have gone up quite a bit in Japan at the moment. I think it's Japan is literally just... They've, they've exported all their games, haven't they? So, where they were cheap in Japan now, they're getting expensive. Crazy man, it's taken like over 20 years to bloody uh, export everything. Yep, cheers guys. Right, I better go because I've got to get for work. So, um, say I'll catch you on uh, Saturday as normal. And uh, if I don't see you, Bean, enjoy yourself. Have fun. Send us some pics in the Discord, that'll be fun. Check some pics in here, where you going? That'd be interesting. Yeah, you lucky. Should have kept all my games from years ago, like I would have had loads. Yep, so latest. Anyway, guys, catch you around. Ta-da!